Good morning, everybody. We're in Castleton this morning here in Indianapolis, and I am in a place called Bird Fever. I think you can probably hear the birds in the background. I was here several years ago. Mark Roth, good morning, sir. Good, good morning. Good. I wanted to come back. This is such a cool place and unique. Not too many like this. Exactly. In, in, and certainly not in central Indiana, right? Mm, yeah. Sure. If you want to buy an exotic bird, this is the place to come. This is the place to do it. And as we look at some of these birds around, all around, I want to mention the responsibility thing first. I was going to hold on to that. But you shouldn't just come in to buy a bird. You're very particular about that, aren't you? Well, it, it, the bird shouldn't be an impulse buy. I mean, ah. there's a lot of research you go into bird. There's no perfect bird. They all have different personalities. So you want to find a bird that fits your situation, your lifestyle. Some birds do well with children. Some birds do not. Some birds are quiet. Some birds are loud. So <laughs> if you live in an apartment, you obviously don't want to get a big macaw Sorry. or cockatoo because that's going to get you in trouble. So it's just finding the bird that fits your situation. Like I said, some make great family birds that go to everybody. Some birds are one-person birds. They only want one person. So you can't, it, it's like the humane society sort of on steroids. You just can't come in and say, I want that bird, and you walk out with it. Exactly. It's more complicated than that. Exactly. All right, now I want to show everybody something that's fascinating. These are eggs of all different sizes. For example, what's this one here? Well, this one's an ostrich egg. Yeah. And this is an emu egg. Yeah. And these are various different parrot eggs. Uh, I mean, obviously, they're not going to hatch. They were duds, but... Well, hold on uh, a second. This one seems to have broken open. Well, now, this one is the exception. This one wasn't a dud. This is an egg that an actual bird hatched out of. Where is that bird? Uh, that bird is right over here. This no. Is, that's Nico. No. Twelve years ago, he And your wife, Joanna. Yeah, my wife, Joanna. That's uh, 12 years ago. Come on was, over, Joanna. That was his actual egg. So this guy came out of... That egg. Out of that egg. Yeah, and as you can see, that's about a medium-sized chicken egg. So. Wow. People think these big birds have out of big eggs, and they don't. They just grow very quickly to their size. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to talk to more, to Nico, and look at some of the other birds. We're going to do some trimming, and we're going to see some babies like they look like, like they look like when Nico was a, a baby. Mm -hmm. Do yep. we say baby? Do we say, no, we, say we say babies. We say babies. Okay, we'll say babies in the next segment, too. Stay with us. <laughs> All right, that was Dick Wolfsey. This was shot back in June of 2017. The shop is still open in Castleton, but it's obviously not taking grooming appointments right now or allowing visitors mm -hmm. because of the pandemic. And I was just telling Marcus that that is probably my worst fear is going to a story like that. <laughs> not, a bird bird yeah. not a bird person. Not a bird person.